Hello, everybody. <laughs> Excuse me. Uh, welcome back. It's uh, been a week since I, I've been live streaming with Warren, but I'm back for another practice match. Uh, today, uh, Warren and I are facing off against uh, Jacob Freeman and James Holtzhauer. We are playing a 16 board view graph set. We're actually going to pick up uh, uh, in the same uh, the same match that we played last week against uh, Marty and uh, Marchin. Uh, we're going to play the last 16 boards of the 2002 Vanderbilt. This time I'm in charge of the table, uh, so we're not going to have any hiccups with, with, with breaks in the middle, so we should get a pretty clean hour and a half session, I would guess, 16 boards. Uh, but welcome. Uh, it, we're, gonna, we're scheduled to start in about three minutes. Uh, as you can see, three of us are here. We will be ready to go in a moment as soon as he's in. Basically, I'm just going to talk you through my thoughts as we practice. This is work that Warren and I have to do to be ready for for these uh, upcoming tournaments and uh, get to hear a little bit about what I'm thinking. Hey, Chris, how you doing? And anybody, uh, feel free to comment in chat. If you're on Facebook, I, I actually, that reminds me, I think I need to enable it so that... Um, People do not have to be my friend to be able to comment on Facebook, but you should be able to comment on Facebook or on YouTube or on Twitch. Uh, here is my stream. Let me change the settings. Edit audience. Anyone? Yeah, perfect. So that I don't need to do that. What about the comments? No, I think I'm good. Uh, all right, so let's get rolling. Uh, so last week was a pretty pretty uh, interesting set against Marchin and and um, and Marty. Unfortunately, Marchin was a little bit sick this week, so he couldn't play. And so I got these guys, which is a great pair. Jacob, uh, hey Kelly, nice to see you. So Jacob is actually from Toronto, like I am. Uh, he's who's sitting west. He uh, is a young guy, early twenties, took the Bridge World, taking the Bridge World by storm. Uh, sort of showed up out of nowhere he loves the game I, I, as much as anybody I just I saw I ran into him at the Nationals and him and his partner had this uh, system book that were it was pretty amazing to see how, how much work he's put into it so uh, yeah so we'll see what we can do here but we're, we're off and running there's our uh, our fourth All right. First things first. I have eight highs. I don't have enough to bid two arts here. Two arts would show ten or more points, so I, I can't do that. So I'm just going to start with a negative double. Um, it doesn't show my five card heart suit, but it's, I can't bid two hearts, and I need to get in. I will. I mean, it's unlikely we're gonna. It's hard. It's really. It becomes very difficult to find a five three heart fit in this auction. But at the same time, if I don't bid. Um, uh, if I don't bid now, we're, we're going to lose our, our chance. Now here, uh, normally I would be pretty keen to, to rebid my five-card heart suit over one no. I like to rebid my five-card heart suit. Like if, if it had gone a club and the opponents weren't involved in the bidding and it went a club and I bid a heart and my partner bid a no trump, I would, uh, in fact, run back to two hearts with this five-card suit. Um, but here, partner could actually have a singleton heart in this auction. This is an auction where he's kind of in a bind. I've made a negative double, and so he doesn't actually promise a balanced hand the same way a normal one no rebid would promise a balanced hand. So I'm not going to risk um, playing a 5 1 heart fit here. Um, Happy New Year to you too, Nicholas. Uh, so if you are commenting on YouTube, uh, the comments move much quicker on Twitch.tv. So if you're on, if you're watching on Facebook or if you're watching on on YouTube uh, live, if you're watching live, if you're watching it post after the fact, no problem. But if you're watching it live, switch over to to Twitch.tv/WalperBridge if you want to get involved in the conversation. There's all right. So Warren had a pretty aggressive opening bid, but I, I like it. He had 11 highs. Uh, Ace, ace, and two aces and a king. Pretty um, normal here for him to be ducking this uh, the second round of hearts. He so his source of tricks on this hand is going to be clubs. It looks like he's going to take a spade. He's going to take three clubs is four. A diamond is five. Maybe a second diamond is. He's not going to make this hand. I mean, he'd have to get very, very lucky. So in order to make this hand, he's going to really need to get to dummy. 
um, to, to try to avoid a club loser. This club suit doesn't play well for no losers. Uh, we're missing the 10, so the chances of us not losing a club trick are very, very low. Though There is a possibility of not losing a club trick. If you come to the south hand and lead the queen of clubs, and and, and the 10 is dropping doubleton um, with east... Um, then we can you basically you could lead the queen and then they don't don't cover it just runs across the queen runs around high Kelly again uh, so the queen goes around and then you'd have to lead the jack again pinning that doubleton ten or if they make the mistake of covering the queen the first time that that'll kind of make it easy that's why when you're thinking about covering an honor with an honor when you see a two honors like this like if, if, if I'm talking about the club suit still if you see that queen jack fourth the clubs down in the south hand if if you see that that's the dummy so if you see them leading queen from queen jack fourth when you king third you're better off waiting until the second round to cover you don't want to cover the first time necessarily that so he is trying to get to dummy here um he got there with the ace of hearts being on side so the opponents have taken four spade tricks and the ace of hearts is five so he's gonna throw a diamond he's trying to make it he's going all out to make this hand Oh, five spade tricks. Were the spades six? Uh, the spades were six. Ooh, he's going. So he's risking. This is imps for you, though. Uh, he's playing imps, so he's just trying his best to make this contract. They're going to see what just happened. Is he opened himself up now? They, they've they've cleared the diamond suit, so now he's going to play hard to dummy. He's going to try and make this hand by leading the queen of clubs. But if uh, if the club is off, he's got a lot of losers. The diamond suit is wide open. The heart suit is wide open, and the club is off. So that's too bad. Pretty sure he was supposed to go up ace of clubs because he might go to bed right now with all of his tricks. I think. All right, four down. Not a great start, but it is imps. I mean, we were going to go. It turns out we needed to get to two clubs. Um, Two clubs would have played much, much better. And the opponents, honestly, I guess they can make uh, some number of spades. They did have an eight-card spade fit. All right, 10, 21, 23. Nice hand here. Uh, no, 21, sorry. 21 points. I have to start with double because I'm too strong to overcall. All right, so what happened in the other rooms? The other rooms, they all played spades. I guess they bid, They just, John Mohan rebid two spades. And at the other room, uh, they didn't open Warren's hand, so the East West got to four spades. Max Grouth and Rodwell being aggressive with, with their seven ups at uh, 14. Okay, sorry. So now I'm, I'm going to bid again. I'm going to double again rather than, and this is a common theme, actually, when you have a strong hand. I don't want to double and bid diamonds because that's going to sound like a one suited diamond hand, a strong one suited diamond hand. Uh, but here, I want to keep both suits in the picture. Wow. So. A lot going on here. So the opponents have done all the bidding. I'm, I can't really take my partner for much over there, but I have a feeling we could still easily make a game. Like if you count our losers, even if partner has no points whatsoever, well, I'm, the jack of spades would be a pretty helpful card. If it feels like we're, we're we still could have a game, I could get a plus score in three clubs. I feel like if I bid three spades, that it's the problem is if I bid three spades, Warren will be looking at. If he's, Warren's got Jack third of spades, or Jack fourth of spades, rather, he I forced him to bid. If he's got Jack fourth of spades, he's just going to pass, and we kind of will belong in four spades. Let's think this through. So, my options are to pass, to bid three spades, or to bid four spades. My worry here is if Warren could have five hearts. He doesn't have too many clubs. So there's a good chance he has four spades. What if he's three, five, two, three? He would have had to have bid two spades. I don't even know he has th four spades with me. Three, five, two, three. What was he supposed to do over my double? He would have to bid two spades. That would be how he would pick. Hmm. I'm such a good hand, though. I, I, I'm I, like torn. I don't think I can get this right. Like, I can bid three spades. He's never going to bid game when it's right. 
One, two, three, four, five. I'm going to beat three clubs. So, so maybe I think maybe I'm supposed to either go four spades or pass. I'm going four spades. What do I think? He's got ace seventh of clubs, though. They might start ace of clubs, club rough. It's a very, very... Double would just be I've got a, still got a good hand, but I don't have a spade fit. That's what double would be. Uh, if he has five spades... And we just belong in game. Ace of clubs, club rough. If he's got a stiff spade, though, over here, which is, seems very possible, I don't know. This is a really hard problem. I think I'm going to just bid three spades. This feels like it could be the wrong bid, uh, easily be the wrong bid. If I bid three spades, the problem with three spades is it doesn't really get me to game. Uh, Warren's thinking. Uh, now I feel I know I want to be in four spades. Now that Warren's thinking, uh, so the yeah, so double again over over three clubs uh, would have just been like yeah, I still have a huge hand. I can't give up, but I don't do that when I have a fit. When I have a fit for my partner, I need to express my fit to my partner. Double's not penalty, uh, and or even if it was penalty, I wouldn't double penalty. I can't be confident that I'm beating three clubs, to be honest with you. I, as much as I have the ace of hearts and I have the king, queen of clubs, those are three sure tricks. But then after that, the ace of diamonds is one. I don't know if I'm getting a spade. I don't know if it's like there's a pretty good chance East has a singleton spade. I know that they have seven or eight clubs over there that they're they're competing to the three level, uh, and they've got open the, they've opened the bidding. Uh, so I would guess the king of diamonds on my right, the ace of clubs is on my right, and maybe a hard honor. It's it's my left hand opponent that has bid on completely nothing. That's what it seems like. Ah, he's passed. We're gonna make a game. Okay. Yeah, we were actually no. I was right the first time. I had to pass. I had to pass three clubs because what's gonna happen here? It's gonna go ace of clubs and a club rough. And then eventually East is going to get in with the Ace of Spades and play another club. And they're going to get to rough with the Nine of Spades or whatever it is. Unless unless he's 7-3. Wow, pass was right. I could, you could see this kind of the writing on the wall here on this hand. There's no... There's no uh, he knows the, the Ace of Spades is probably... Uh, on side, we're 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 doomed anyway. Uh, we, you can win the ace of spades. Either way, if that was a singleton king of hearts, even if the spades are breaking now, watch this. They can promote a trump trick. This is good defense. Great defense. All right, down one. They promoted the ten of spades here, so I had to pass. We would have gotten in three clubs. We would have gotten two clubs, the ace of hearts. A spade and a diamond. So, yeah, pass was the winner. I knew it was possible, and, and, I, and I was uncomfortable with my three spade bid just because, I, like I said, I didn't think that it was going to get me to a game if I had it. Good lead, good D. But if, if Warren had a singleton club instead, then uh, we would have been... A, definitely making um but i guess we still beat them so maybe pass was the right bid by me i don't know oh we made it oh that was the beat game sweet i i was off by a trick oh. all right uh, listen to me giving myself a hard time and then and then sure enough i uh survived so, let's see. Oh, this was the previous hand. What happened at the other table? We won nine against the room. So one pair was in four spades. When a club double a heart, pass two clubs, double, pass, and they bid two, Bob Hammond bid two hearts on Queen Jack, 10, 9, fifth. Went pass, my hand bid three diamonds, and now he bid three spades, and it went four spades, and that went down one probably on the same defense. Ace. Oh, we just did, yeah. They just, the view graph didn't get it. It obviously went too quickly. 
Okay, uh, Diamond from Partner, 2 no unusual on my right. They have clubs and hearts. I don't have enough to act, so I'm just going to pass, hoping they play hearts. No, I just miscounted my trick. I don't know. I didn't really. I, I just thought we were going down. I thought we lost five tricks, not four. I knew I, I was. I wanted to be in four. As soon as Warren started thinking, I wanted to be in four. Wow. I think I need to give this a double. I, I just. What's the worst thing that happens? They're not going to run to five clubs. He's kind of just guessing, so I'm just going to take a piece of it here. There, there's no. An imp's doubling a game. If you're wrong, it's not that big a deal. I don't feel like I'm going to be. Um, I don't feel like I'm going to be giving away the show here by doubling. What are they going to do? They're going to make an over trick. I have two trump tricks. My partner opened the bidding. I do know right. my right-hand opponent's going to hit with like a 6-5 hand or a really strong hand, but whatever. I feel like this is... I might as well. Might as well. All right, I'm going to just play the 9 to give uh, Jacob a sense that I might not have queen 10 9 8 here. Oh, this is working out well for him. We're going to get uh interesting questions. Uh yeah, he, 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 um, sorry, I'm trying to follow suit. I'll, I'll get to those questions in a second. Uh, I just, it's, it's hard to do both play and talk. I mean, he, he is a tough spot there because he's got the six card heart suit. I mean, they're just he, he's guessing. He, it's I think it's pretty reasonable that he bid game. I mean, he 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 I, he didn't have that great of a hand, but you can see he actually bought pretty well over there. To be completely honest with you, he bought the king of hearts in his partner's hand, and he bought the queen of clubs, and he bought clubs three three, and like so. Um, I just I actually didn't see whether whether. Uh, whether he had a singleton club or a doubleton club, so I'm just going to pitch here to be safe. Yeah, it's it's him. So I I don't I don't I don't. It's hard to blame him. Like he if he if his partner had three hearts, he'd be probably in pretty good shape. Um, I'm just going to keep throwing. It doesn't really matter here. Can't really get burned. Warren Warren had nothing in hearts. He had the King of Clubs. Okay. As soon as Warren plays low, I'm going to claim three tricks. down one yeah so he he i mean he had a tough one he's six five he's his partner doesn't have a lot of room right over two no his partner doesn't have really a way to say i have a three and a half heart bid so for all he knew his partner had an extra heart okay yeah there's like it's kind of random in those spots. I actually I've, I don't like that spot when you're in the unusual two no bidder and you're just kind of left guessing whether to bid four or not. But that's why with my hand, it's pretty important. I did double like you do double because when they're wrong, you got to make them pay. Like they, it, it was possible on that hand that my partner had the king of hearts also and the queen of clubs also, and they were going for like eleven hundred, right? So so it's really important to double. Uh, and the risk reward when it's at imps when they're in game for doubles are pretty high. If they're not going to redouble you, uh, your 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 downside. Is is actually only five imps if they make it so and 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 the upside if they're going down two or three is, is very high down one it's no big deal it's only three imps that i gained from my double but uh i could overcall i guess i should overcall probably a pretty garbage hand but 
I'm going to still poke in there with the dime and get partner off to a, a, a lead if, if no trumps is the right final contract. I don't really want my partner leading um, a four card heart suit. Oh, if, uh, I'm not, not, that's not good that it just went past. I might be in trouble here. I think I just, I just, oh, no. My partner, par partner, oh, we still might be in trouble. It might go past, past double. I shouldn't have overcalled. I'm, I'm showing you bad habits. It's about to go double with West. This is not good. Uh, what have I done? I mean, we have less than half the high card points, and we have no source of tricks. We're in deep trouble here. Uh, I don't, I don't know what where to go. I'm just gonna leave it here. Oh, hopefully, we will not go for 1100. We're going for a huge number here, and Warren has just enough high cards that that they're. Uh, He has just enough high cards that 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 they're not making game. So our number here, this is a complete disaster. Uh, yeah, I should have probably had a couple better diamond spots here for my for my uh, one diamond bid. I, I would definitely don't try this at home. Although, whatever. I, I I'm not afraid of going for numbers at the one level. I'm like I, that's not what keeps me from overcalling. Honestly, what happened with partner advancing one no trump? That was that's a wor worse. That's the worst case scenario, pretty much. Partner advanced without a fit. That's not that likely, and it's not. Not that likely that they're just gonna get me for a number either so well one trick in we are we're gonna take at least three maybe four it looks like he might be able to negotiate some heart tricks um and but yeah we're we're this one is a, a little donation to the to the opponent's uh cause I'm pretty. I like getting in there. That's my my. Uh, I'm I'm usually overcalling pretty pretty aggressively. Vulnerable. I don't know. Yeah. I, I. It doesn't qualify for my three rules that I teach my students. You either need to have a good suit, or you need to have a good hand, or you need to have good distribution. And I didn't have one of those three things, but I still can't help myself from overcalling on a hand like this. So. Such is life. Uh, so if you're new to the stream or if you haven't seen this before, uh, Warren and I do this every week on Mondays or when, when when there's not a tournament going on or other things in our lives. Yeah, so he's, put, he's putting East back on lead, hoping the King of Hearts is with East. I mean, I just, I typically overcall. I mean, I'm, I'm an overcall. I'm a really aggressive overcall. I, this is probably not right, vulnerable, upset a pass partner, but it's so, it's, yeah. Most of the time, it just, the, the hand moves on without you. You know, like, it, it, it don't, you don't normally go for a number when you overcall, especially upset a past hand partner. Like, partner's not jumping to three no trump. They're a past hand. The most he can have over there is a bad 11 count. So, like, I'm not worried about the hand getting too high. It's pretty low risk. Uh, it's, it's, it's surprisingly low risk here uh, to overcall. Uh, that, I'm, says the guy who's about to go for 1100. I just don't think that bad things these bad things really happen to you that that frequently that kind of just it's come you know you live you live with it it's hard to believe that Warren is thinking about this trick they won the the queen of clubs queen of spades rather and now they're playing us the eight of spades back so he's thinking that they that they that they have queen doubleton I'm definitely conservative compared to most people. No question. Uh, so, so, so yeah, Chris, yeah, like you see me overcall this hand, but like compared to to other other top players, I am definitely among the most conservative players in the game. So, so that's so there you go. So I'm overcalling this garbage, and I'm actually pretty pretty passive in general. I 
fact, I <laughs> on my team, Warren is by f don't Warren is the most conservative for sure. Uh, all right, we're up to four tricks. We're gonna lose like an eight imps, eight imps here. He can throw away a diamond safely. Yeah, with slams particularly, I'm I'm very passive. I don't like bidding slams, I, but everything I'm passive in general. I, I'm always taking the low road. This is not the low road or the high road. This is just an overcall. I mean, might even be able to squeak out. No, he he found that play. So now he's gonna pitch a spade from dummy or whatever. I guess that's a yeah. He has to pitch a spade from dummy. Now now West has to pitch a diamond. In which case. Now he's going to win and play a low club. He's got to play a low club and hope that West has singleton nine of clubs left. Or maybe oh, maybe that was his last time, and I think we're just done. I think that's it. That was pretty good defense, I think. I think that was the best that they could do. He could have stuck in the nine of hearts. That was the same thing. We were just going for 500. A little nine imps. Nine imps for him for their effort. Oh, is it Queen Jack third of clubs? Oh, yeah. Oh, right. We got out for one down. I see. He was unplayed. He had to go up nine of clubs there to stop that from happening. Wait, we won a swing. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. We won a swing on this board? After all that, who are we playing with? Uh, so, it's one East-West pair, Mechstroth and Rawwell, obviously. They found their way to game. I, I, oh, they had a pretty good hand. He didn't open this hand? Oh, there's only 10. 10. Sorry. I thought it was 11. Yeah, so there you go. There's Rawwell's and Mechstroth's aggressive bidding paying off. Uh, one no by East. Yeah, they did not overcall. Soloway did not overcall. All right, so this hand isn't quite enough to make a negative double, but my diamond fit brings me up to the negative double here. So well, I, I would normally need like more like 10 points to make this negative double. I'm perfectly happy to bring hearts in the picture and then run back to diamonds if 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 that fail. Alright, now he bid to no, I'm gonna pull back to diamonds and that's that. It's always okay to make an aggressive negative double when you uh have it have a can solve all your problems later in the auction. I have no pr I'm perfect I'm thrilled to bid three diamonds here. I would, I would have, like, if I didn't have four hearts, I would have bid three diamonds anyway. Another dummy. Uh, so this is, let's see, he's got a spade loser, a heart loser, two or three diamond losers, plus he's got to sort out the club suit. Uh, the club suit's a weird one. Um, I guess he's going to start to it. Yeah, he did it right away. I think he maybe. I see. So he won the Queen of Hearts up up in his hand there because he was a little worried that that was a singleton Queen of Hearts. And if it was a singleton Queen of Hearts, it was very important that that when West gets in and leads a heart, that East can't rough out the King. So that's why he he did that. He, that's why he won the King of Hearts. Okay, so now he's just he's good. He's gonna lose maybe a diamond, definitely a heart and a spade. Yeah, was it slower last week? Uh, that's funny. Uh, yeah, it did take a while last week. Besides the technical problems that we had, it was. So I guess if he he can't really afford to play the king of diamonds just yet, he really has to play a club right now. He might still go down in this hand. Is it possible? No, because if they rough up with the queen of club, queen of diamonds here, it doesn't matter. If he tried the king of diamonds right now, though, uh, he doesn't have a way back to his hand to rough that other club. So he really needed to take this club rough. 
And now diamond to the king and club rough. He really needed to not cash that diamond. Oh, and now we made an over trick. Okay, so all that work roughing the clubs was pointless because the trumps were 2-2 two, two, and we're making four. Very nothing hand. It, what could they have done? They had an ace. We could take ace, king of hearts, aces. They can't make anything. So this was just, this was it. Par on the board. He can claim. So if you're new to the stream, um, you can see my website down there right at the bottom. Um, I, I do these streams for free, but I, I do also produce lessons. Um, I put, put a lot of effort into those lessons. Uh, please check them out at my website. I have one full series on the system that Warren and I play. It's called Gavin's Master Series. Just go through piece by piece all the all of the agreements that we have so when you see stuff come up here in the stream you can and you're interested in it and want to add it to your system you can go to my website and buy the lesson buy the lesson sorry yeah I didn't overcall a diamond on this garbage four. Now I'm not a four card suit overcaller, and this is obviously a ridiculous hand. But uh, I, I I feel pretty strongly about not overcalling four card suits. I, I I had my phase as a kid when I overcalled four card suits and found that it really did not work out well. Okay. Yeah, so I'm going to lead, I mean, my choices are the two unbid suits. I could either lead the king of diamonds or the spade. I'm going to go at diamonds. It feels like we might need to get our tricks set up sooner than later. Probably is not going to matter. I don't have a hand that looks like it's going to beat three clubs when they've invited. And, and you can see they're probably going to take six club tricks and two spades is eight. Ace of diamonds is nine, maybe. Okay, I got a standard signal from partner. That actually could be low because there's only the three lower. I can see the two, the four, the five, the six, the seven. So it could be, but the problem is if it's low, he would have seven, ten, jack. Yeah, he could have seven, ten, jack. So I can't play, oh, even if he has seven, ten, jack. No, he would have played the jack from jack 10 7. Sorry. So he, that 7 has to be high because 7 10 double 10, he probably would have played the 10 as well. I'm playing another diamond. That's the process you have to go through when you get a signal. Like you have to look at the card that's played, think about what they might have played from them. You can't just look at an 8 and say an 8 is high. You have to go through the, the look at all the spots and kind of figure out is it really high? Or is it because sometimes high cards can be low? It could it have been seven three doubleton? No, because if he had if Declare had ace jack ten fourth of diamonds, they would have just won the ace. They would have they would have no reason to duck. They could grab my king and then they would only lose one trick. So no, it couldn't have been seven three doubleton. All right, following suits. Ah, oh, even better for him there. He gets to pick up the club suit for no losers. This was a nothing hand at all. They, I guess they can make three no trump with diamonds 4-4 four, four and the king of clubs dropping singleton. Uh, they can make three no trump, but... Uh, 7 and 5 is 12, 13, 14, but 14 with four jacks is not enough to upgrade... I am uh,
All right, so Warren and I actually play this three diamonds as a mixed raise, so seven to ten points uh, with with uh, a diamond fin. We actually can bid two diamonds or three diamonds with that range. Um, this is usually going to be a five-card suit and seven to ten points. Um, you force them to bid three. I think we've done well to push them up, although we do have a nine-card fit. So th unless Warren has four hearts, this is probably the, the law of total tricks spot. All right, so he's led third and fifth. Excuse me, so that's that's the fifth best diamond. Um, I'm gonna win the jack. No, well, I might as well just win the ace. Um, let's think about this. Yeah, so I can play the jack, and then and then it does. It's nothing really bad. If the Claire's got the king of diamonds, then then it, it's a doubleton, and and also. Um, yeah, so now that means Warren's probably got the Ace of Clubs and the King of Spades for his bid. Although they might just run the table right now. They might just run all the hearts and clubs, but I, I don't think we could have beat it if that's the case. So... He's going to lose two spades, a diamond, and a club for making three. All right, we might end up playing more than 16 boards if we do keep going at this pace. This is kind of quick. Lost a swing on that one because they bid to game, maybe. Let's see. 11 Mohan. They opened up. Soloway and Hammond played four-card majors. Man, this is 2002, and they were still playing four-card majors. It's funny. I don't even remember that. So they open one spade with this hand. Two spades, pass, pass. Three hearts, pass. And they kicked it in. I don't really blame him for kicking it in. If his partner had a singleton spade and one more club, it would have been an easy game. So, Well, I don't have the right shape for a takeout double, so I have to pass. This is unfortunate. This is why it's really, really important... Uh, uh, it's really important that you, if you do have shortness in diamonds, that you do make your takeout on that side because you can see I had 14 points and I had no uh, bid. Okay. Queen. I've got to knock that ace of spades off the board. It might burn me. But I gotta get it off because otherwise he can just set up the hearts and get back there with the ace of spades. I don't know what his shape is, but it looks like king of spades is gonna be the right play. I think it's okay to bid two hearts with this east hand. I don't think a lot bad is gonna happen to you if you do bid two hearts. I think that it'll it'll block the opponents out of the bidding uh, a little bit, and and he also might just find a game if his partner's got three hearts and a singleton spade. Game is just gonna be like incredibly easy. So I would. I would have, um, all right, Warren has, so Declare is what, six diamonds? He only might have five diamonds. So Warren's nine of clubs to me. Uh, it should be remainder count, which uh, would mean that he started with five clubs or, or three clubs. And the only way this, this, um, line of play makes sense is that if Warren started with 10, 9, 8, third of clubs. But, so if that's the case, then Declare is going to have six diamonds and four clubs, and he didn't play the ace, king of hearts. So, what I'm thinking now is maybe Declare is 5, 4, 2, 2. That's what I'm thinking. Is, is What if Declare has got... Yeah, I mean, look, I'm playing a trump. I, I don't... It's just weird. It's weird that he's playing... Um, or maybe I should play a heart to try to kill, but... Yeah, maybe I should play a heart. Cash the Queen of Spades and play a heart. Yeah, that could be the right play. Cash the Queen of Spades and kill the dummy. That's what I'm doing. It's weird that he didn't cash the Ace-King of Hearts, so I know something funny is going on, when, that he that he didn't cash the, 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 the Ace-King of Hearts to throw away a loser. Hey Babs, and yeah, he he he's he's up and coming Canadian who clearly loves the game. 
So now I'm going to play a heart just to kill the dummy. I, I, I don't know. He's going to rough a club back to dummy for sure, but... It's the YouTube guy. Uh, all right. So he had three spades and one heart. I still think he's 5-4 from the way this hand is going. He's going to throw a club, yeah. Another spade from Warren because he knows that Jacob's down to all trumps, so he's going to play a spade almost for sure, hoping that I can rough high again. But I guess he knows that I, I can't because I roughed 10 last time. But... So maybe what I have to do, I have to shift to a trump. I don't see how that could have been right. Not with the Queen of Hearts coming in. I guess he's seen Jacob's two diamond preempts. That's why he passed two diamonds. So what do you have here first? He had he had four little clubs. Maybe the Jack. I don't know. You know jack was in dummy. No Jack. Yeah, he had Jack fourth the clubs. Actually, uh, he's thinking here, but but the truth is that he can't. There's nothing he can do. He's just gonna. He's gonna lose one trick. He's thinking about leading low or cashing his ace. I think. I wish I'd rough with the six of diamonds now, because if my partner does have king seven, what what, what could be going on here? Sorry. So Declare's got jack four at the clubs, a singleton heart, and three little spades. So his diamonds were he overruffed my ten with the jack. That's the only diamond that he's played. Yeah. So his partner had king queen third. Ah, uh, so what did I have to do? I I feel like I, I did screw us over here a little bit, but maybe by playing a heart. Didn't matter what what he did though. All right, I have 12. Uh, a little too strong to just invite, so I'm, I am going to game four. So although I'm I'm thinking I don't really want to bid. If I bid two hearts and he bids two spades, I can bid four spades. If he bids two no, I can bid. Yeah, I'm going to bid two hearts and then and then to, to set the game for us. And then over whatever he does, I'm just going to jump to four spades to try to tell him, like, hey, I have a really garbage hand, but game forcing with a fit. So that's going to be my plan here. All right, so now my partner's promising six spades, an agreement I feel very, very strongly about. I love playing that way. Um, I could bid three spades, but I'm just going to jump to four. My queen of spades actually lost a little bit of value here uh, it, because we have a nine-card fit that might not need the queen of spades. Um, uh, maybe I should have gone three spades. He's thinking over there. see what he's got did I screw us out of a slam here by not bidding three spades no this was kind of the goal here this is we, we wanted to stop we didn't want to get get too involved game was actually pretty dangerous we, we're gonna lose a club a heart and maybe a diamond So yeah, so my my first as far as two over one goes, I don't I don't know. There's two versions of two over one that have been taught in the over the years. I'm the one who I like to play that my rebids show my rebidding my major promise is six, and that if when I, when when I have a balance, I don't really mind about bidding two no trump when I don't have stoppers. That doesn't bother me. I I, I it's more important to me that uh, that I do. Uh, 
Sorry, that, I, that I, my reboot of my major promise is six. I did a three-part series on my two-over-one stuff, and, and that, that's what kind of launched the Ga Gavin's Master Series. Uh, and uh, the first lesson really talks through um, that whole structure. I think, yeah, hey, Eric, uh, yeah, I, th I think that, that rebooting with five is probably more, well, that, I, I, don't, I don't really understand how they play it, to be honest with you. I hate it. I, I really I, I just I, I like to be able to show my six card suit and there's, I never know what to do when in those auctions where you do rebid your major and your partner bids two no Trump I never know whether I'm supposed to show my six card or not and I, I just don't really uh, I've never been able to understand how it works like how, how how they survive so yeah so I don't I don't really know why why that's why why people play that way they ever played that way but I, I love this way of playing so I feel pretty confident it's the right way. It's the first thing that I say when I sit down with a partner to talk about my agreements. The first thing I say to them is in two over one, rebidding my major promise is six. That's like the, that's the number one, step one. If you want to play bridge with me, that is my two over one structure. I, I, I have a lot of wiggle room in a lot of areas, but that one I feel I, I uh, listen, if my partner was like, no, I can't play that way, obviously I would, I would put up with it, but... Uh, 11 of the finest. I got the 10s and the 9s and the jacks. All right, I'm opening, but I, I don't think Warren would open this hand, but I'm, I'm opening it. I'm doing it. Two quick tricks. I do not dye my hair. No. Um... Uh, no, I I'll be gray soon. I I don't know if the gray hair shows, but no, I no no hair dying. Um, so what was I saying? So yeah, uh, yeah. So Eric, I, I I so the way I play with my partners as far as raising after two of a major, uh, showing six, we play that raising to three of a major either promises three card support or honor doubleton with a slam try. So so so. You're not allowed to raise two spades to three spades with a small doubleton. Uh, so your options when you have a small doubleton are either to make... Oh, this is a convention. No, it's... He, no, this is a... He skipped over a bid. We play two spades as our acting bid. So this shows four... This shows four spades. His bid two no shows four spades the way we play. I'm going... Oops, I don't want to go back to four hearts. I want to go back to three hearts. Um, sorry, what was I saying? So yeah, so so with when you when you do have two little spades, my options are over two spades are to jump to four spades fast arrival when you have a really bad hand, or when you have like a slam interested hand but you only have two little spades, you start with temporizing by bidding two no trump, and then at your next turn you bid three of the major, and that's kind of how you separate. It. Otherwise, you end up getting to some some um, some game uh, some slams with bad trumps like two little ups. King Jack sixth or whatever. I don't like getting to those types of slams. So, uh, so uh, two no no. So Warren and I play two spades as the spiral ask. We play two no Trump shows four spades and four hearts exactly four hearts and four spades uh, and at least a game invitational hand. Uh, and that's our way of recovering a four four spade fit. We sometimes raise with three card support after a diamond a heart. We will sometimes or what did I open a club a heart. Uh, we sometimes open three. We sometimes open we sometimes raise partner with three card support and so we need to be able to find a four four spade fit in fact when we have four spades like with my hand i've opened a club if i'm like four three two four uh that's a common time where i will raise with three card support because i can't bid one spade the way we play if i bid a spade and then i later show him a heart fit um i would be showing a much stronger hand so I feel like I've been dummy a lot this set. And it slowed down. Maybe th there was the connection between those two things. What's happened so far in this set? What have we been doing? Uh, we're, we're winning 18 to 13. Uh, we started off by having a disaster on the first board because we played 
one no instead of two clubs. I don't blame Warren for his bid here. Uh, he actually texted me after the first hand saying I was close to bidding two clubs over over one diamond to spade double pass. He bid one no. Uh, that was our, our one loss. And the action back up to this hand. Sorry to bounce around on you. He won the ace of clubs. Played a spade to dummy. Sorry, trump to the king. Spade to the ace. This is not going very well for the home team. I feel like... So you played a trump to the king, spade back to the ace, but then he changed directions to diamonds, which had the diamond finesse won, I think we were in good shape. But now that the diamond finesse lost... I don't see it. He's got. He's got... He's already lost one trick. He's going to probably lose the, uh, the ten of spades... Ooh, this didn't work out. He can just cash Ace of Hearts, Jack of Hearts, if that's what he has. So now there's one Trump outstanding. So uh, if they play back a club, he's 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 cold. Uh, if they play back a diamond, he's cold. Okay, so now he's cold. So now he can just rough, and now he can claim. He had to play back a spade to have any chance to beat this hand. Um, that would have taken the entry away from the diamond. But I'm not really sure. Uh, I'm, I'm not really sure if he uh, actually um, could have beaten it. But it, certainly, the, the, his only chance was to play back a, uh, a spade. No, he couldn't beat it because because East had three diamonds, so it didn't matter. The hand with three hearts had three diamonds, so Warren would have had enough time to 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 throw away a spade from my hand. All right, fourteen, another fourteen that I'm not going to upgrade. I, I I have it's a decent fourteen count, but just not worth an upgrade. I've, I'm going to just stick with it. Uh, If you're new, please uh, hit subscribe. If you're if you're if you're watching on YouTube or or if you're watching on Facebook, the best way to interact is with is on Twitch. But um, hit, give me a subscribe either on Twitch or on YouTube or on Facebook or anywhere. Uh, starting to do this a little bit more often, so I, the subscribes. Will let, if you subscribe, you'll get a notification when when I go live. Most Mondays, this time of Mondays, uh, are Warren and I are practicing. We have a few matches set up for the, ne for the next few weeks. Uh, I don't have any tournaments until we go to Reno in March. All right. Went 1-0. No. They transferred to spades. Uh, he super accepted with three clubs. He, now he bid three spades rather than retransferring. Um, yeah, double would have been asked for a heart lead. I, I don't... I have a. I don't like to make lead directing doubles, um, unless I know that I want that suit led. So I, I yeah, I could have. I mean, I guess I could have, but it's not my style to make a lead directing double on a on a hand like this. But I will lead a heart. Oh, nice hand. All right. So hopefully, partner's going to give me a nice little eight seven of hearts, encouraging. No, that was not an encouraging card. Okay, so now I'm gonna just uh I have to get that diamond set up right now because they're gonna use the hearts to throw away the diamonds, so I'm gonna play this Queen of Diamonds. Even though this is risking uh, I might be killing the diamond suit. If they had the king, I, I might have been pickling my trick, but there's urgency. I, I, I could see that, that heart suit is going to produce um discards for east so so i need to get the diamond set up right away before they do that so all right we're gonna get a heart and a diamond and ho hopefully a uh i mean i guess they play something else i would have assumed that i played retransfers with my partner but i mean he, he whatever he probably didn't care if he was declaring or whatever uh, may, like maybe they didn't have an agreement or maybe they had a special agreement and Okay, the hard work of getting that diamond set up is paying off right now. Okay, and the rest of theirs, yep. They're clawing at us here. They're, they, We were had a nice little lead, but now they've 
pipped us in five or six straight hands here. Two imps, three imps, two imps. Holy cow, we're on a streak. All right, there are five more hands in this set, I believe. It started at 48, 49. Okay, pretty standout three heart bid. I think that most people would make that bid. Just showing my game going hand and hearts. Three hearts is game forcing. So partner can safely rebid three spades uh, with a six card suit, not worrying, I'm gonna, not worrying that I'm gonna pass. I have a hand with a diamond stopper that might, uh, but if he bids three spades, I think I'm still going to go four hearts. I think that, that it's very hard to imagine that three no trump is going to play better than four hearts. And I don't think it's right to play in a six two spade fit here because I'm the one with all these hearts. These hearts might be completely useless. Even if he's got a singleton heart, I, it, it feels like hearts is going to play better. So I'm, I'm going to bid four hearts. Could be wrong. Um, he might have bid three spades with some hands that only have five spades, though, uh, because he, he is going to try and keep it below three no trump. Okay, well, I know what to do with this lead. I'm going to win this king of clubs. I'm going to play ace of diamonds, and I'm going to rough a diamond. And I'm going to get rid of my other diamond on the ace of clubs. Then I'm going to pop the king of spades on the table. still not clear that uh, whether spades would even be better even though we did have a 60 spade fit and I'm gonna hide the deuce always hide the deuce if I can And if you are watching on Facebook, give me a share, please. Let other people know that I'm doing this. It's, I've just started do, putting it on Facebook lately. All right, I'm going to play low. Okay, so he's got six diamonds. If I play, I, it feels like I'm supposed to play the king of hearts. I'm missing the ace of hearts and the jack of hearts. My worry, though... Is there any way that, that, no, I think I have to just play the king of hearts. I was thinking, should I cash this king of spades first, the queen of spades first? But I don't see what bad can really happen to me here. I'm going to play the king of hearts. Okay, he's going to play a diamond. Okay, or he's going to give his... Okay. Um, I don't remember what's going on in the clubs. I guess I... I he can't have five of them, but it doesn't matter because I'm only missing the jack hearts. So sometimes I'm pretty lazy in that way of of watching when things, are, whether things are are working or not, and kind of just when I have an automatic play, I don't I don't worry so much about about little little spot cards like there. I didn't I I didn't have to think about whether the clubs were breaking whatever because I knew I had the queen ten eight seven of hearts and there were only three hearts out. So if I rough with the seven, I'd still have the queen ten eight for those other three. And I find that finding shortcuts like that where I don't have to waste brain energy, uh, mental energy, it it it, uh, it helps a lot. All right, let's get a pretty run of the mill week two bid here. Was that a push that last board? If lead a trump, that wouldn't have helped either. Trump lead, diamond shift. Yeah, trump lead, diamond shift would have beat me. They were played spades at both tables, eh? They didn't have an auction there. Oh, because they raised and then they bid four spades. So it was a little different. They didn't... Okay, it went two spades, take out double. Warren raised to three spades, kind of a non-invitational preemptive, furthering the preempt. East double here is a responsive double. 
it's saying, hey, partner, I hear you that you have a takeout double. I want to get involved in this hand as well, but I'm not sure how or what, which way to go about doing that. So that's what East Double says. It's like, hey, we're a team here. I'm, I'm a part of this hand. It's a cooperative bid. And now West has some decision making. If East had four hearts, they probably would have just bid four hearts. Uh, usually you use the response to double for when you don't have the major. Uh, he might be thinking about passing me in three spades doubled. If he's got some hand that doesn't have a spade stopper and doesn't have, yeah, it's a, he he could either, they, this is an auction where they might speculatively pass three spades doubled sometimes, if there, but it's the double east double does not it's certainly not penalty and it's certainly not uh it's not it's just values like eight points ten points something like that ten points probably nine to eleven is what what I would expect there for that double. You know, he, he knows his partner's got an opening hand, and he's got something, too, that if he doesn't, he did pass. All right. I have my bid, even if it's a kind of an ugly week two bid. Better than my one diamond overcall earlier, so. Okay, they did great here to defend three spades doubled. Uh they didn't quite have the values for game. He had nine, I had seven, so they only had 24 highs, and they don't have a game. Um, yeah, this is this was a huge result for my opponents. All right, start by playing diamonds. I don't really want to be on lead here. He did well to go up with the ace. I was hoping to sneak that one through. Warren's bid was completely normal also, raising the three spades. I would do it for sure. This is just a cost of doing business. In the world of preempting and furthering the preempt, this is what you do. Uh, all right, let's play the eight. What good defense they're finding here. He could not really have... He, he, does he know? He knows that his partner... Uh, I'm wondering, could he have underled his ace of hearts here? So my choice is to play him for the jack of hearts or the ace of hearts. I don't think he would have let a low heart back from the jack. I think I think that if he had the jack of hearts, he would have thought longer before he would play. So I, I believe that the jack of hearts is offside. It's very possible both are. So I'm going to try the queen, but I really don't think he has the jack of hearts. Jack of hearts. All right, so nothing I could do there. And now he's going to play a diamond, maybe? Which I'm gonna pitch. Um, okay, wait, is it right to pitch? Could he have three diamonds on my left? He started with two spades, so I could rough this. Because the problem is that if I pitch, I'm gonna lose the queen of diamonds and I'm gonna lose the ace of clubs. So I can rough this, and then my choices are to either play him for queen third of diamonds. I don't think the, he, yeah, he could he could have let a low diamond from the queen here. So what's going on with the high card situation? My left-hand opponent has ace, double, ten of spades. Um, I think it was king, fourth of hearts, seven. So if I pitch here, I think I'm just going to lose the queen of diamonds, ace of clubs. I don't want to do that. So can he have everything? So righty has showed up with the king, jack of hearts is four points. And the ace of diamonds is eight. He probably has another two, right? He probably has the queen of one of the minors. I don't think he has the queen of diamonds, though. I mean, well, I say that. Why? Why he would? He wouldn't really be worried about playing a low diamond back here from the queen. Could he have the ace of clubs? So I think I can rough and play for ace queen of clubs to both be on side. He's a passed hand, so no, he cannot have ace of diamonds. King Jack of Hearts, Ace of Clubs, so he can't have all of it. So he he does. He, he, West has the Ace of Clubs for sure. So then it's just a question of which Queen West has. 
I can rough it. I can play club to the king, rough a diamond. So if the diamonds are 5, 3, that would be, east would be 2, 3, 5, 3. He did great to go up with the ace of diamonds. He wouldn't have done that with ace fifth of diamonds, would he have? Maybe. Ace queen fifth he would have, but he would have maybe done it faster. He took a couple seconds before going up with the ace of diamonds. Ace queen of diamonds, if he would have just popped up. I don't think he has the queen of diamonds. So now it's a question of does he have just eight points or ten? I think he's got ten. I'm going to rough and I'm... Well... All right, I'm roughing. If I if I go, the problem is that if I play a trump over and rough a diamond to see if the queen falls, now I'm I've given up on 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 if he's got ace queen of clubs. So I'm just gonna play a club to the to the jack. I'm gonna go. Yeah, okay. All right, claim. I'm gonna lose one more trick. I, I couldn't do anything about it. I was always three down on the sand. Well, we lost a big swing to everybody on this hand. We lost the full 13 imps. Why? What happened at other tables? One table went two spades, all pass. And the other table, it went pass, and Mechstroth opened a diamond in front. Good bidding uh, by my opponents. They did great on the sand to double us. They earned their 13 imps. First, not opening the 11 count, which I got to admit I would have opened. Um, but I understand not opening with two little spades. Then coming in opposite a past hand with this this hand, I, I probably with Sam Lev here that I would not be making this takeout double. But once he made the takeout double, from there it kind of got they got kind of put into that spot. When you have only twelve highs and your partner's a past hand, uh, it's not usually going to work. Oops, I'm going to pass. It's not gonna, usually going to work out well for you to make a takeout double, forcing your partner to the three level. But it it definitely worked out well there for Jacob. All right, third hand high. This is a spot where Warren knows to lead aggressively, so there's a, there is a decent chance he's underled the king of diamonds. We're pretty passive leaders, but actually it's funny. So one of my students sent me an email today about third and fifth leads saying, uh, are, I don't understand third and fifth. How are you supposed to know whether your partner is led from an honor or not? I'm like, well, you have to listen to the auction. The auction's going to tell you whether partner's planning to be aggressive or not. That's one way. And in general, you would assume that partner doesn't lead from honors because we try to lead passively in general. But like this auction, he knows dummies hitting with a singleton club club and hearts he's going to lead a diamond with no matter what his holding is so this time there's a really good chance he's underled the king of diamonds you have to re be able to read the bidding read the auction So what I was saying just on the last hand here, this was the hand that I was talking about, this west hand that Sam Lev had. It's also went past, past two spades. But here, when you have only 13 and your partner's passed, you know you don't have a game. Very, You, you most likely don't have a game. That's when, when, when that, so Sam Lev decided not to make a takeout double. Making a takeout double commits your side to the three level when, you know, you might be in, in over your head. No, you. I would be worried that, that they just so so. I, what they splintered in clubs and they signed off. I'd be worried that West has club points and the diamonds is the suit that that diamonds is where they're vulnerable. Dummies hitting with long hearts and dummies hitting with four spades and a singleton club. And West has said, "Oh, you have short clubs. I don't want to look for slam." So West probably has club points. I'm not. 
and it's only one trick in clubs that can go away. The the way we're gonna beat this hand is by developing diamond tricks. That's the uh, diamonds is definitely the suit that, that that I'd be worried about going away. The one club, where's the club going on the fourth round of diamonds? It's not getting discarded. The discards are gonna come from the other hand, or, or dummies diamonds are gonna go away on clubs. It's not gonna be dummies club going away on diamonds. You might not. You might lose a club trick by not taking, but you're not gonna beat the hand. By, by by grabbing your club trick the first trick that's never going to be the difference between making the hand than making the hand or it may, I say never but the chances of that leading a club is going to be the the difference maker on whether you can beat the hand is really low like the chances of that happening like being the though but diamonds we might have ace king queen of diamonds right away and and then leading a club might they might be able to throw dummies diamonds away on them what happened here? Did I win this trick? Who? What am I waiting for? Oh, he's still. So he's obviously got pretty weak spades. Uh, that he's thinking here, because there's not a lot of potential here for us to take a lot of tricks, right? We can take one club, one diamond, and one spade. So he's thinking about whether to take his hearts and throw away his something from dumb his hand, or whether to go after trumps first. So he's gonna go after. Heart, 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 and, and on the third round of hearts, he's hoping that that the three card trump suit is going to be roughing, and he's going to be right. So, oh, never mind. He had a singleton. All right, so he's done well to get his discards. Now he probably cashed the ace of spades. Rough a diamond back to his hand and lead a spade up. Does that seem like how he might play this hand? Or he might just rough a diamond and take a spade hook. Either way, he's going to make this hand because he's thrown away both of his diamonds. So, so we're going to get our ace of clubs. I'm going to get my king of spades. We might get a second spade trick over there if if Warren's got like Jack nine third of spades or Jack even Jack eight thirty. We might be able to figure out his trick. He doesn't want to play the diamond though, because if he plays a, we're gonna try and make dummy rough because these three hearts are still important. So the moment I get in, I'm gonna play club club. I'm not gonna play a diamond. I'm gonna try and make dummy rough, but I guess it doesn't matter because he's just gonna play the ace of spades. He's made the sand. He's thinking about how to handle the four-one break, but there's not the, the trumps aren't four-one, so there's nothing that we we could do to beat this. Excuse me. So I'm probably gonna be live tomorrow. I'm I have to make out a convention card with Rob because we're playing in some uh, in a match on so we're we're recording a match on Saturday as partners uh, for uh, for this new tricks bridge club a little team match thing. I think we're teaming up with uh, Zia and Andy Robson against um, I don't I, maybe they're not my teammates. They might be my opponents, but. Uh, all right, they cash the ace of spades. So uh, we've got to talk over our convention card. So we're going to go live as we talk over our convention card. Um, all right, I'm going to win the king. Ace of clubs. Yeah, it doesn't matter because you got the spade right. Um... So uh, the 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 uh, the match is being recorded Saturday. Tomorrow is I think when in the, tomorrow in the afternoon, probably about maybe this time, maybe a little bit earlier, uh, Eastern, um, at like two o'clock maybe or something like that. I'm supposed to meet with Robin, talk to him about some other stuff uh, just afternoon, and then we're gonna go live at some stage and and talk over our card. Uh, once I can figure out how to get the second video feed back into the into my streamer and and it's a, that's a whole nother animal. Usually Rob's the tech guy, but I'm gonna have it on my channel tomorrow. Not balancing here. This is a, a nothing hand. Warren's got a pretty good hand over there. Ace again. We lead Ace from Ace. We sorry. We play Rusino lead. Sorry, no, we don't play Rusino leads. We play uh, the Ace asks for attitude. Uh, if he wanted me to unblock or give count, he could lead the King. I'm telling him I don't like it by leading my playing my lowest heart. The six is actually going to look relatively high to him with the nine, eight, seven hitting on the board. But there's four points in dummy. I have three points as seven. 
my left-hand opponent has at most 17. So that means that Warren up there has 16, at least 16, maybe 18 eye cards. So he knows I've got nothing. He knows that I've got anywhere, uh, depending on his, he knows that I could have somewhere in like a three or four point range over here. So he's not going to play me for too much. These are actually pretty hard hands to defend uh, when you have all the points and you're leading into the one no trumper. They're not fun, but at least we don't play penalty doubles because he might have made a penalty double uh, of one no with his 16 or 17 count, and we would have been in trouble. With that eight back, I'm going to give a little false card. Normal oh, I didn't have to make it. I just like playing double, like, Woolsey better than playing a system that has penalty doubles, Krish. I don't know. When we, against strong no trumps, you don't really need a penalty double unless you're playing against, uh, like, Brad Moss and Joe Grew when they're white. Uh, then okay you can you can you can add penalty doubles when you're playing against people who are going to be opening ridiculous hands one no but i hate that auction one no double and i love being able to come in with a four card major and a longer minor so we like with when i'm playing with warren we'll talk like before we sit down and play against the pair we, we might decide um we, we might decide to play them for uh i'll give them that one might sorry, excuse me. We might decide to to play penalty doubles against a particular pair in a particular spot, but we don't we don't just All right, down one. So penalty double would have worked out just fine there. Uh, did we? What? Why do we get such a good score? Do we win? We won imps, right? We back on the board. It took a while. They 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 crushed us for a little while. We won. This is the last hand of the set. Um, A negative double here shows four spades, and this hand is absolutely good enough to show it. It's just like a one-level response. A normal one-level response is all you need to make this negative double. And with this this quality of spade suit, it's, it's definitely worth it. Yeah, well, I play that redouble as a good hand with two card heart support. That with my partners, that's what I play. Is I have two card heart support and like nine to eleven points. I don't know what the, what they play. I couldn't, I mean, I didn't have a hand that could really commit to the three level here, even though his two club bid, he, I mean, he's usually going to be 5-4 or 5-5, five, five, but I, I don't know, I, I just, with 4-3-3-3, three, 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 I can't really be doing it.
You see there's Jacob's picture there. All right. So you reopen double. I mean, I'm going to bid uh, th three diamonds, rather. Well, what does he have there? He, he could have bid two spades if he was three, one, five, four. So we could have played our four, three fit. Um, so he's probably two, one, five, five. Why didn't he just bid three clubs? He was worried that I wanted to double. He was worried I wanted to pass out two hearts double. I'm going to bid uh, two no. Hopefully we'll get him to bid. I'm worried here that he might have like four or five in the minors. But I guess if he's coming back doubling, he he, he would he would have had a good enough hand probably to, to reverse. So he probably doesn't have four diamonds and five clubs. So I'm going to just bid three diamonds. Um... He's thinking about bidding three hearts. He wasn't thinking about doubling us. They're going to start by leading hearts, making him rough. But, um, yeah, that's why he reopened double. Yeah, he was 5 4 two, 2 there. Glad I hit his five-card suit. So this is a spot where he might be able to just throw a loser on a loser. Uh, they're going to play hard, hard, hard. And that's, that would normally... Um, cause him to take a rough in that five card diamond suit hand but he doesn't want to do that so i think he should actually throw a spade this is a perfect loser on loser spot where he's got to lose a spade no matter what anyway that it just seems like he should he should he should not take a rough pitch that spade and uh, no he didn't yeah he didn't do that so because the problem is now if the trumps are 4-1 he's he's in it's gonna get a little uncomfortable for him um I don't see what what the downside would have been to throwing the spade on that trick. Whenever you you have an opportunity to avoid taking a rough in the long hand at no cost, you want to find it. So that one, I'm saying, instead of playing the jack of diamonds on this trick, he could have discarded the three of spades, an, an inevitable an inevitable loser. Uh, so just to to prevent the opponents from shortening his trump suit. Now he's going to have to play a diamond to dummy and run the ten of clubs. Um, he knows that hearts are 6-2. Um, he's probably got a slow club loser, unfortunately. Maybe that's one reason not to do the loser-on-loser loser play. Is he, he needs the queen of clubs on side to make this hand, right? He's got already lost two hearts. He's going to lose that third major suit card. It's going to be a spade now, but it could have been a heart. Um, but then he he's, he's, can't lose two clubs. So he's going to lead the ten of clubs at some point and run it. So the diamonds were four one, so it's definitely gonna burn him. It feels like he's he's gonna get burned here for mm, well. Hi, a little bit late. We're about to finish here. Uh welcome, welcome. We're we're we've been going for about an hour and a half and Yeah, he's in it did cost him for sure. Uh I can ask for in one second. I, he, Jacob's saying that we, if we want to play more, um, yeah, I, it's funny. I always think of my Australians. Like I, I have some Australians that take my lessons from me and. Like they're, they're when I have my lesson at three thirty in the afternoon here, they're always it's it's punishment for them. That's I guess it's like ridiculously early in the morning over there. But then when I started doing an eight o'clock class for for a little while, that's when then when my Australian students were like, oh, this is the best. It's like a perfect time of day, and it's funny how like little little things like that. The, the, the time zone changes. I, I always know now that always in my streams, my students, the Australians are always there in the, in the evenings, but never. Uh, in the morning. This is it going very interesting. He's not Warren's not responding to this question.
Ooh, I'm not sure that was... Oh, it was the winning play. Interesting. All right. We made three diamonds. That was a good job by Warren to compete. Thank you guys for joining me for the stream. I will, uh, I'll be back tomorrow afternoon sometime with Rob. And otherwise, you can find me on Wednesday on, uh, on the Bridge Lesson YouTube channel. And otherwise, we'll be back next week, this time playing another match uh, against another pair. Thank you very much for showing up, and I'll see you guys soon.